getting ready for calculus the whole idea of giving you these set of questions is to get you ready for calculus now if you are struggling with some of these problems then I'll recommend that you review them right go through the playlist and then see a few videos brush up your knowledge and then get back to calculus question number three is determine the values of C for which f of x is continuous on the entire domain and here we have a piecewise function f of x equals 2 cx minus 1 whole cube when x is less than 2 and c squared x squared minus 1 when x is greater than or equal to 2 now how will you do this question now the first part of the function is a cubic function now this function is always continuous but this function is only valid for x less than 2 so for x less than 2 this function is going to be continuous so what I'm trying to say is if this is my line for x equals to 2 then this function will be kind of uh, let's say let's say something like this it's a cubic function right we are assuming c to be positive something like this right but but in this case we are only considering this part of the function so we don't really go beyond that so we are actually going just beyond this part so where's our function is this function do you understand when we say x less than 2 then we are not considering this line shows me x equals to 2 right I've not given you a y scale we really don't know where all these things are but I'm giving you reference right so so it is something like this right I know this should be at 0 so not there but kind of you can see this now the other function here is uh, c square x square minus 1 so it's like a square function right so square functions could be uh, like a parabola so we'll draw this parabolas will be like this correct and uh, now we are only concerned with the part which is greater than or equal to 2 right so let me just correct what I've already done a mistake let me correct it a bit the way I've shown the diagrams is what I'm drawing these things they are at x equals to 0 so let me write x equals to 0 here let me do a correction right and x equals to 2 will be a line let's say somewhere here right two units to this and let's say this is my line x equals to 2 okay now that means this will be kind of like so going here and we have a hole here right so that is our first part there's no harm in making corrections it's always good to do it at the earliest possible now the other part is now it's the peak is not here right that minimum is not is the minimum is that actually x equals to 0 right and there the point of inflection is at x equals to 0 so that's why when I drew it like this, I thought it's a good time to correct it. Now, x is greater than or equal to 2. That means our function starts from here. And the parabola is kind of like this. But since 2 is included, this point is filled up. Correct? So that is our function. So we have a cubic part and a parabola, right? These two. And we can see that they show a jump discontinuity at x equals to 2 right but there is a possibility that we can move this and put it here do you see that if I move this and put it here it forms a continuous function and that can happen by selecting correct value of C that is the concept so I hope you understand the concept right the idea here is to brush up understand the concepts and then get started with calculus correct so that is what it is now coming back to a problem so we see that there is a discontinuity and the discontinuity is at x equals to 2 to make it continuous we have to put these pieces together at x equals to 2 so let's put x as 2 and equate them so that's the whole idea we'll put x equals to 2 here so if I put 2 here I get c times 2 which is 2c right so we get 2c minus 1 whole cube and here if I put 2, 2 squared is 4. So I get 4c squared minus 1. 
n at 2, we want them to be at the same point, same y value. So we can say this is equal to this. So that is the whole idea and that is how you get your equation. Now if you solve this equation and get a value of c, for that value or values, the function is going to be continuous on the entire domain, correct? So I'd like you to solve this equation. If you are struggling to solve this, then you have to look into some more strategies in polynomials and solving polynomials. Brush up with things which you're not really good at, right? So that is my recommendation, getting into calculus. Now, how will I solve it? So I'll show you a trick to solve it. This is like difference of squares. Do you see that? So I could write this as 2c plus 1 times 2c minus 1. Do you see that? So I'm writing this as this. 2c plus 1, 2c minus 1. And you can see 2c minus 1 is a common factor. So I bring them together and then solve. So, so the next step is 2c minus 1 whole cube. I'm bringing this here. It's a minus of 2c plus 1 times 2c minus 1 equals to 0. Correct? And now I can say 2c minus 1 is a common factor. So I'm left with here 2c minus 1 square. And here I get minus of 2c plus 1. Correct? Equals to 0. Now clearly I got one answer. This can be 0 when c is equal to half. So at least I got one answer and that is that I got one factor. So I can say well c equals to half is one of my answers, correct? Now, let's move on and see, do we have more answers here? So we'll say, well, this is 2c minus 1, and here, let's expand this, okay? 2c minus 1 whole square. So, so if I expand this, I get 4c square minus 4c plus 1, and let me open this, minus 2c, minus 1, correct, equals to 0. And then we can write this as 2c minus 1. Let me club some terms if, see if possible. Minus 6c and plus and minus 1 is 0, equals to 0, right? So here also we get a factor, correct? So let's take it on this side and continue with our factoring. With 2c minus 1, and here we can factor out 2c, right? So we say times 2c, and we get what? We get 2c minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. So minus 3 equals to 0. Correct? So, so we get another value here. So at x equals to 2, if I put... So these gives me a lot of values. Let me rewrite this. So I can write this as 2c and then I have 2c minus 1 and I have 2c minus 3 equals to 0. Okay. So that gives me a lot of values for which c, this could be true. So 1 is c equals to 0, right? And here we get equals to half and here we get equals to 3 over 2. Do you see that? So these three values can make this point or this hole plugged in by this. Do you see that? So these are all the possible answers for the given question. Correct? So that is how we can solve this kind of question. It's a very typical question and I'd like you to go through this. In my playlist, we have a similar question. Let me give you as a practice problem. I would like you to change this question a bit and then redo it. I'd like you to change this to 3 and then do, right? And see if you can get similar or different answer, whatever. Correct? So, I hope you understand the technique. It's a very important question. I've seen it so many times. And I've seen a variation of this question. Because since, you know, this is my factor, these are my possible roots, we could modify this question uh, in a way and get some other values for C, correct? So sometimes the modification seen is that this value of minus 1 is changed to 3. 
and you can try with that and then again solve it and also look into my videos where I have considered this as a thinking problem in piecewise functions video sets okay thanks and all the best